welcome Shane West, A Leap. Hi, my name is Shane West, and I'm head of incubator here at A Leap in Oslo, Norway. A Leap is one of the largest health incubators here in the Nordics. Today, we work with 50 health startups and provide them with customized business advisory and access to expertise that they need as they innovate their healthcare solution. Over the past two years, I've had the pleasure of working with Vilja Bionics, and it was natural for me to nominate them to the Falling Walls Venture Conference. Vilja, over the past two years, has demonstrated a willingness to take in new information and pivot and persevere based on what they're hearing from their market and their technology. They've also assembled a fantastic and highly competent team that Saeed, their CEO, leverages each day. Not only that, Vilja is a fantastic contributor to the community that we've built here at Aleep. We expect all of our member companies to share their experience and learn from others' experience, and Vilja has truly done that. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to Vilja Bionics. Breaking the wall to assistive technology with robotic exoskeletons. Saeed Hosseini, Filier Bionics. Hi. One in four people in this room will experience a stroke during their lifetime, according to the World Stroke Organization. Stroke is a sudden interruption of blood flow to the brain, harming brain cells, and stroke is the third leading cause of death and disability combined globally. Thanks to modern medicine, more and more people survive a stroke, but it also means more people have to live with severe disability. Permanent and significant disabilities in arms and hands are very common. And for many stroke survivors, many two-handed activities can become nearly impossible to do independently. Lack of frequent movement in paralyzed arms can lead to painful complications like stiff joints. For a few years ago, a robotics professor had to see his younger brother uh, lose his quality of life because of a disability in arms. His passion and strong will inspired a group of engineers, doctors, and, and business developers to build this very first prototype, which I'm wearing, and found Vilje, which means strong will in Norwegian. We are developing the world's first commercially available robotic exoskeleton that assists motion in the entire arm. The user can um, control the device by initiating small weak movement and the, the motors uh, will, uh, will augment that power using our smart sensors and unique software. The, uh, currently I'm wearing the first prototype from 2020 and we are working on a patent application process so that, that's why I, I cannot unfortunately show you the latest prototype but if interested let's sign an NDA to get to this demonstration. <laughs> and um, the user tests have been very promising. The users say that they, uh, they can be independent, engaging hobbies, get back to work or live at home instead of moving to a nursing home. Uh, an independent so uh, socioeconomic uh, company has estimated that our device can result in a socioeconomic saving of 70,000 US dollars per user over five years. Our competitors, Mayomo and Vincent Systems, have devices that assist motion in the elbow and grip. Well, what differs our device is that we can assist motion in the shoulder, elbow, wrist, and hand in one single system. As such, the user can reach his face, which is very crucial for many activities of daily living. Globally, we estimate that around 20 to 25 million people will benefit substantially from our device. And our business model is sales through orthotics and prosthetics clinics, uh, better known as, as Sanitätshauser in Germany. These have already established collaborations with, uh, with final payers, which are public and private insurance companies. We have so far raised $2 million and established collaborations with, with the largest uh, um, uh, 
Rehabilitation Hospital and provider of orthotics and prosthetics in Norway. But Norway is a small country and we have global ambitions. That's why we are here to meet international partners and investors. In 2024, we will raise $2 million to finalize our regulatory approval process and, and finalize our commercialization um, in the beginning of 2025 in Europe. And um, we are building an impactful world-leading world leading company and we would like to get in touch with anyone who dreams big about making the world to a better place. Thank you very much. Great, wonderful. This looks even not bad, I must say. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, we have a question by Frank, but uh, also by Monica. Yes, and, um, and then we will take it from there, and then also you, this is wonderful. Okay, Frank, please. We have a microphone first row, please. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice presentation, very impressive device. What's the weight of this device? And the second question, maybe you can address this in the same sentence. Is this one fits for all, or uh, do you, will you have a, per, a kind of personalized device? Um, thank you for a great question. So this device is actually weights uh, a lot. <laughs> it weighs 3.8 kilograms. But uh, with the newest device, we have reduced it by one kilo, uh, kilogram. So the, the device weighs only 2.8, and we're reducing it even further. And, um, and we have also reduced a lot of volume. And uh, the second question uh, is, uh, this per, uh, product will be personalized for each individual user. And that's actually beneficial for the market because our customers, orthotic and prosthetic clinics, make money out of customization. So they're incentivized to, to make this customization for the benefit of the user, but also for their own uh, um, business model. So we make this customizable, um, I mean, 90% uh, standard, but 10% customizable. Thank you. Monica, you have a second question, please. Thank you, great technology. I wanted to ask, what's your maintenance model, like what your service model for the users? Um, so um, right now, there is an established sale channel and business model, which is upfront payment um, and but then uh, we're gonna have like a yearly check uh, and service, and, and, but that's gonna be done by our customers, which are orthotics and prosthetic clinics or okay. Sanitas House. Thank you. Okay, third question was here in the first row, please. Can I have a microphone here in the first row? Thank you. Thank you very much for the presentation. I've seen a project, no, not similar, but also people um, working with, um, with patients suffering from stroke where two exoskeleton arms are used, combined to each other. So the idea is to train the disabled arm. You make your movement with one arm, and that movement is you know, transmitted to the other exoskeleton arm. And by that, you actually start to, to train other regions of your, of, of your brain. Um, is that thinkable to, to, to adapt to your system or to, to use your arms? Um? Yes, definitely. So our uh, first um, first uh, intended use is assistive, but it's very uh, um, reasonable to think about rehabilitation combined with, for example, gamification that the, the user can play a game and, and make rehabilitation more fun. Okay. We have a uh, Stefan, I'm sorry, I give the priority to the jury here. Um, could, you, could you tell us what the costs are going to be for the device and, uh, and maybe also explain a little bit more in depth what's the technological angle, what's the deep tech part about it? Yes. Uh, so first of all, um, the, the cost of exoskeletons are high uh, at the current stage. They, they vary from $30,000 to $70,000 per device. Um, and, and that's because um, the, the alternative cost is very high as well, uh, with, but giving care and having the patient in the nursing home and et cetera. And um, the other uh, part, sorry, what was your second question? The deep tech, the deep tech yes. Um, so our core technology is basically uh, the, the combination of our software and the sensor and how we can uh, interpret the user's intent uh, without placing sensors on the skin. 
because the current solutions, they place sensors in the skin. And, and that's inconvenient if you, it's, for example, if you live in a cold no, country you, you, like Norway. No, we cannot do the example. I'm so sorry because we are at zero already. <laughs> yes. I'm so sorry to yeah, interrupt okay. you. It is an awful role I have here today. But thank you so thank much you. for your answers. Let's